Howdy, hey folks. So I'm here at my uh, storage space in Portland, Oregon. I used to live in the apartment um, complex up above here, and so I, uh, I'm in the process of, of uh, putting some things in storage that I had up in Canada and then taking some things out because I'm headed to Bali. Um, and uh, so just kind of rearranging some stuff. And I came across some old things of mine and thought people might find this uh, a little bit interesting. It is a old um, scrapbook of mine that I made in a high school um, social living class. It was like winter of, of 1989. I was a senior in high school and we had this class that was, you know, sexuality and, and uh, you know, culture and, and, you know, living in the modern society. And it was one of these, you know, kind of random uh, um, requirements for graduating. And one of the first little projects that she had for us is she just wanted us to make a um, a folder that we were going to use, you know, later on in the class to put our papers and things in, but just to kind of show our, um, you know, our personality a little bit. So we were supposed to decorate like the front and the back of, of one page, um, you know, make a collage out of it, be colorful, be creative, do whatever you want. And then, uh, um, you know, that was like the first little assignment. So I got a little bit carried away with it and ended up, um, putting a bunch of folders together and just went crazy on the collage. So here we go. Here's the front, a uh, pretty hippie girl there. Um, you're gonna see lots of Bloom County references. I was a big, big fan of Bloom County. And so then we, we go on to, to uh, page two, some typical high school stuff, girls in bikinis. Here I am about 16 years old with my Oingo Boingo shirt. Oingo Boingo was uh, one of my favorite bands, you know, back in the 80s, and uh, that was my first concert. So here's a, a few random um, pictures. Me with some friends at Halloween back when I was like 12 or 13. That's me with the, with the orange and uh, black hair. I kind of look like a clown, but I was supposed to be a punk rocker. Um, here's me and my brother, my younger brother Christo, there I am, doing my thing, me and my dad. Uh, what else we got here? Here's my hippie family. That's me looking kind of pudgy in the middle. My mom on the right, my dad, my younger brother Christo on the left. That's in Glen Allen, uh, Glen Ellen, California, where we lived for a couple years. There's my, there's my dad on the left, my mom in the middle, and that's me um, in my mom's arms, and my uncle John on the right. And some more randomness. There I am again. So that's just page one. Then we move on, page two. Now here's the all Bloom County page. I'll get your teddy bear, your Garfield blanket, a plate of ding dongs. What else would you like? Six chicken McNuggets, or I don't talk. Then on to page whatever, four or five. So one of my other favorite um, uh, comics was ElfQuest. So this is from the ElfQuest books. The Oz books. I was in, There's a whole bunch of Oz books beyond, you know, the first one. There's like dozens of them. I read all those books. I was a voracious reader. More collage. Beatlemania. Um, random photo of a very unhappy baby. Here's kind of my spiritual element coming through. I hadn't kind of uh, remembered this part. Hare, not that I was actually into Hare Krishna, but um, by any means, but uh, I, I think it was just something I found in a magazine and just kind of found interesting. But And then here's more Oh, and then this is, oh, that's why, because this is a Bloom County um, comic strip about Hare Krishna. I beg your pardon? I asked if you would make an offering to a spiritual pilgrim. Ah, you're a penguin too. Pilgrim, my son. Pilgrim. Yes, of the Hare Krishnas. Hare fish nuts? Hare Krishnas. Your offering would go to our prayer temples. Dimples? Prayer temples. Prayer pimples for Hare fish nuts. Just cough up some dough, Mac. <laughs> Pretty funny. And uh, more Bloom County. And then, I don't know, there's like some essays and stuff. Oh, that must be like my actual homework that I did for the class in there. 
and uh, some Calvin and Hobbes here, far side. That's my brother, something out of the newspaper. Um, there, and this, this, this was in uh, Berkeley, I graduated from Berkeley High School, spring of 1989. So, and here's just more, oh, there's Oingo Boingo again. More ElfQuest, Beatlemania, blah, blah, blah. And some hippie stuff, hippie folks on an awesome bus. And then the back page. So there you go, my interesting uh, high school scrapbook. A little window into my life from more than 20 years ago. All right, now I gotta deal with all this crap and stuff it all back in there. Get out of here with my, uh, my smaller backpack. I'd, I've been traveling with this bigger backpack and because I'm going to Bali and don't need a whole lot of stuff, I'm taking my other smaller, kind of medium-sized backpack um, back to my friend, uh, I'm staying with my friend uh, Sharon's um, here in Portland, who I always stay with when I come through Portland. I use her address as my U.S. address, uh, and uh, that's how it works as a world traveler with um, my cheap storage space and various mementos from the past. It's always quite a trip down memory lane when I come over here and go through some of my random boxes and pull out things and remember different aspects of my life and look back on it all and think life is freaking crazy and interesting and always uh, exciting and adventurous. Take care.